Doom Eternal's arsenal is broad and incredibly powerful. Every weapon has a place and a purpose inside the combat loop, and has the potential to become even stronger when the player learns how to weapon swap effectively, rotating out guns after each shot or within a series of weapon combinations. But the specific combo I see the most questions about is the sheer speed provided by the heavy cannon's precision bolt and the rocket launcher. This combination has the fastest swap speed between any two guns and deals an insane amount of damage in a very short order when properly utilized. My name is Arrhythmia, lifelong nerd and big time nobody. By the end of this video, you'll have a strong foundation to start perfecting the precision bolt. Like with any other advanced technique, we're gonna have to start with some basics. So let's just get right into it. The main function of the precision bolt is to zoom in, aim at a demon's weak point, and break it. However, the scope does not need to be fully zoomed in for the bolt to be active. In fact, the moment the scope is activated, the precision bolt is ready to fire, providing a quick scope functionality that is near instantaneous. Getting the timing correct for this will take practice, but the method is simple. Right click and then left click as fast as humanly possible. On consoles, this would be left trigger and then right trigger as fast as you can, but the principle is the same. Once you start getting the timing for a quick scope down, start swapping to the rocket launcher immediately after quick scoping. This swap can be done within literally milliseconds of hitting your primary fire. For the examples in this video, I've bound the heavy cannon to Q and the rocket launcher to E. If you watch the on-screen keyboard and mouse carefully, you'll see that I'm hitting E within a fraction of a second after quick scoping and drawing the rocket launcher insanely fast. From that point, you'll want to start firing rockets and swapping back to the heavy cannon. This is where things can kind of fall apart if your clicks are mistimed or you fumble your weapons. But if you watch this slowly, immediately after quick scoping, pull the rocket, hit the heavy cannon, quick scope, hit the rocket, go back to heavy cannon. You essentially want to swap your gun back on almost the same beat that you do a primary fire. One of the best places to practice this consistently is the gladiator fight. This guy will not die unless you glory kill him, so he is a fantastic place to practice these swaps, especially once you put Dazed and Confused on for a Sentinel Crystal, as it will keep him in a staggered or stunned state for much longer, allowing you to get more precision bolt swaps in. I would definitely recommend looking at your weapon binds and seeing how you can optimize these most comfortably. The placement of where heavy cannon and the rocket launcher are in your weapon binds makes doing these swaps much easier. Personally, I don't use WASD for my movement keys, so I'll be making a video soon about keybinds and how to adjust them to better suit your needs, but the principle is simple. Keep your guns within a single key's distance from your movement binds. But that's a video for another time, so get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already, uh, and follow me on Twitch to watch me attempt Ultra Nightmare speedruns without a heads-up display, uh, and just in general kind of be a bit of an idiot. Leave a like on the video too if it helped you out, or if you learned something new, or even if you just like the content. Later nerds!